the Department of Education, Innovation and Gender Relations under the Education Quality Improvement Project EQUIP broke ground recently for the construction of the school block, which will comprise three stories, with the third and second levels, each housing five classrooms, with accompanying male and female washroom facilities. The ground floor will serve as an open breezeway with male and female bathroom facilities. Parliamentary Representative for Castries North, Honorable Stevenson King, in whose constituency this school is located, says he has advocated for the school's upgrade for many years and thinks the new wing to be constructed will add quality to the instruction received by students and boost their ability for higher education at secondary schools of their choice, some of which are located within the district. I believe we're on the home stretch. On the home stretch to the finish line, to ensure that those who are here now, who are students and who are participating in this exercise, can associate themselves with a vision for education in this country, a determination for better education, better school facilities, and the fulfillment of an education institution that can continue to participate in one of the more, if not the most successful education district on the island by having the cream of the crop in secondary education and the cream of the crop in primary education. The sword turning ceremony conducted by the government last week follows on the heels of another conducted just over a week ago for the construction of the Laguerre Primary School. Minister for Education, Innovation, Gender Relations and Sustainable Development, Honorable Dr. Gail Rigobert, says the ministry is actively pursuing the overall transformation of the nation's education sector in order to make those who benefit from it more globally competitive. While many important determinants of effective learning are beyond our systemic control, it is imperative that we collectively optimize the effects that we can control. One undervalued yet key determinant in fostering students' achievements in the physical learning environment or the quality of our school plans, which impacts upon student morale and teacher commitment. The project also provides enhanced parking facilities for staff and visitors, upgraded water storage capacity, and an improved sewage solution for the entire school. The contract for the unit's construction has been awarded to Construction and Industrial Equipment Limited CIE at a cost of 4.5 million EC dollars. Prime Minister and Minister for Finance, Honorable Alan Chastney, told students gathered at the ceremony to embrace their weaknesses in order to overcome them and excel in their education like many before them. You must embrace failure. You must embrace an idea and believe in it until somebody proves to you that it's not true. But now your power of knowledge becomes greater because you've learned firsthand. This is what this new smart school is all about. Government will break ground for the construction of a new unit at the Gordon and Walcott Memorial Methodist School on Thursday of this week. The contract for the unit's construction has been awarded to Prudy's Construction Services Limited at a cost of 6.5 million EC dollars. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Education, Innovation, Gender Relations and Sustainable Development, I am Chris Satney reporting.